Hi Taurus, Sun Rising and Venus and welcome to your love reading for April 2023. I'll be taking a look at your love interest, how they're viewing you, their feelings and actions they plan on taking. Please keep in mind that this will not resonate with all of you so you're more than welcome to check your other placements. All right, Taurus, let's go ahead and get started. Guiding just Holy Spirit, what does this person want to tell Taurus? What are their feelings for Taurus at this time? All right, under the deck, you have, I love you unconditionally. I left you before you could leave me. I'm picking up on a energy Taurus of like ghosting, a breakup, ghosting, um, self-sabotage. Okay, I don't know what that means for some of you, but I feel like this person, they love you, okay, but they could have certain personal issues where they tend to leave before they get too attached or they just fear possibly getting heartbroken or they fear... Yeah, they just fear getting up to attach to someone, Taurus. That's what I'm picking up on. You know, there could have been a third party for some of you. And, you know, for some of you here, I feel like this person wishes that things were different between you two. Let's go ahead and dig further. What is this all about? How is this person viewing Taurus? How is this person viewing Taurus? All right, strong Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus here. Okay, so Taurus, this person is viewing you as someone who possibly decided to block them, disconnect from them, cut them off. You could have said something very direct to this person. There could have been like very direct communication between you two. They're viewing you as someone who's standing your ground really focused tell me more about this king of pentacles yeah this person you could have caught them in a lie sneaky energy you could have found out that they were they were entertaining other people or that they were already in a commitment taurus therefore that's why you decided to cut them off or block them they view you as someone who's very disconnected from them. This person could have snuck away. I don't know why I'm feeling that. Like, they snuck away from you, like ghosting type of energy. They view you as someone who's holding back. Tell me about this person's feelings for Taurus. Tell me about this person's feelings for Taurus. This person's feelings for Taurus. So they act like they don't care, all right? They act like they don't have emotion for you, Taurus. But they do. The problem with this person is that they're too emotionally immature. Okay, that's what the cards are saying here. Cross watchers could be vice versa. But right now, you know, they are hiding the fact that they have strong emotion for you. Okay, because again, they could be very prideful. This person could be very imbalanced. Again, I keep hearing emotionally immature. This could be someone that tends to be dishonest. Could be a mother involved in a situation or a child or a pregnancy, something like that. This person's feelings. Yeah, five of swords. Two of pentacles. The emperor. So you have the emperor and the empress here. Aries energy, Libra, Taurus, Gemini, Virgo, very strong here. Scorpio for some of you. So I feel like right now this person could be juggling, okay? They could either be literally juggling you and someone else or they were or this could also be them really stuck in their minds, stuck, stuck in their thoughts, 
I see this person overthinking. They, they could be someone who, you know, they view you and they feel like you're their soulmate here, Taurus. They feel like you two have a lot of things in common, that you guys are soulmates here. But at the same time, they tend to control things too much. They could be very controlling. For some of you, there could be an age difference two to five years, okay? Leo for some of you. Tell me more about this person's feelings. The moon, what is this person hiding? This is someone who's very sneaky, okay? Some of you are not communicating with this person. You could have this person blocked or vice versa. Tell me about the moon. What is this that they're hiding from Taurus? What is this that they're hiding? That they miss you, again, that they see you as a soulmate. That they miss the times with you. But I, I feel like this person has issues that they need to work on. Leo energy with the strength card. Yeah, they're still stuck on you. Okay? They're still stuck on you. Whether it's an ex or someone you had a thing with, they're still very much stuck on you here. They have regret. They're losing sleep over you. They want a new beginning. Unfinished business. But again, this person needs to work on like themselves or, you know, they could either be too controlling or very emotionally immature. I'm hearing Sagittarius for some of you. What actions does this person plan on taking? What actions? Queen of Pentacles in reverse. The Death card. Scorpio energy, Capricorn Virgo Taurus. This could be someone who like always wants to keep things casual. You know, again, I feel like they have, they're either emotionally immature here. Um, a lot of imbalance. This person's energy is all over the place. They could be very codependent uh, or again, something about just wanting things too casually or, you know, friends with benefits type of energy. Tell me about the actions this person plans on taking towards Taurus. This person could be someone that gets bored very easily. Three of Cups. I see them contacting you. Or wanting to go on a date with you here in April, Taurus. Some of you may bump into this person at a party celebration. Ace of Cups. Yeah, Nine of Swords. This person could definitely be struggling with like past traumas or like I'm, I'm hearing insomnia, anxiety. You know, it's interesting though because I feel like they're going to come and tell you that they're tired of juggling. They're tired of being the way that they are, that they're tired of it, that they want commitment with you. Oh my God, this person's scattered. And maybe this is why you did what you did, Taurus. You could have blocked them or you could have straight up told them something. They have respect for you because of that. And I see them coming towards you, offering you a new beginning because it's like they can't, it's like they can't be with you, but they can't be without you. You know, it's like they, they're going to tell you that they don't want to juggle anymore. They're going to tell you that they want things to be serious. They want to have a clear and honest communication with you. This is a very unexpected conversation that's going to be taking place between you and this person. So I feel like this person wants something serious with you. It's like one minute they don't, then one minute they do. But I would be careful because if this is someone who has a tendency to change their mind, a lot because they're so emotionally unstable I would just tell this person you know work on yourself first you know come to me correct or don't come to me at all type of energy because I feel like they do have a lot of love for you but again there's internal things they, they still need to work on tell me more about this person on Taurus mind kind of Holy Spirit tell me more stop with the questions yeah see sometimes this person might tell you like, you know, just why do you keep asking, blah, 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 right? Because they're so emotionally immature. Tell me more. 
I know I hurt you. I'm stupid. Yeah, see? One more. It's like this person caught feelings for you, and now they don't know what to do with them. But they need to work on themselves. I keep hearing that message from spirit. What else? Hot-headed. I'm falling in love. I can't make a choice. You see what I'm saying? Like this person, like, it's like one minute they're like all in, the next minute they're not. They're trying to fight their feelings for you, but I don't see them being able to hold back much longer, Taurus. But again, just make sure this person works on themselves. Because I feel like, because they might be a big flirt. Yeah, can't make this up. And I don't like to be told what to do. That's kind of like the emperor energy that I was feeling earlier. So yeah this person could just have a history of being a player or not committing to anything and now they caught a lot of feelings for you and they don't know what to do with them taurus but again this person may need to like just work on themselves before getting into a serious long-term um, commitment but the decision is yours okay all right well this was your love reading for april 2023 if it did not resonate feel free to check your other placements thank you to all my loyal subscribers who continue to love and support my channel and if you haven't already Please like, comment, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll talk to you soon.